Streamline Backshop Services presents the latest installment of our how-to series. Today we are going to demonstrate a relatively unknown and as far as I know undocumented procedure uh, feature of the Loke Sound Decoder series. Um, I believe it's available in all Loke Sound version 4 decoders. Uh, today, our, our project locomotives are a pair of Cato E8s, uh, an E8A that's fitted with a Loke Sound Select Micro, and the 50 or the 73800 model. The E8B is fitted with a Loke Pilot Micro. That's the 54687. Um, We've uh, we've also installed our standard light package in this with the uh, a lower on-off headlight uh, that's dimmable, uh, and then uh, an upper on-off and an upper red. Uh, in this case. Uh, the upper light is capable of white on off, white Mars, red on off, red Mars. Uh, so lots of cool lighting in it. <clears throat> the uh, the procedure for uh, configuring auto tune is very simple. Um, it's simply a matter of where we've programmed both of our locomotives to uh, the same address, 82. Uh, we've already set the uh, CV3, which is the acceleration momentum, uh, to a value of about 50 in both decoders, and the uh, D-cell uh, momentum to a value of 30, which is uh, about default for a, a V4, uh, a nice, nice smooth number. Uh, well, no reason to go beyond that. It's not too much, not uh, too little. Uh, so our auto tune. Then we're going to go to program on the main. We're going to hit uh, select our loco. Going to select CV fifty four. We're going to enter a value of zero. Then we're going to go back to ops mode and we're going to press F1 just like we were going to turn on the bell uh, when we were uh, in normal operations. We have both engines uh, coupled together in this case. Um, what I found is this is a uh, also a, a really great way to speed match engines quickly. The uh, I'm going to do a five finger uncouple here to separate the two of them now, so that as we uh, do this demonstration, the rest of this demonstration, you'll be able to see uh, how well they are matched. Keep an eye on the gap between the two of them. I'm just going to pull them forward here. Nice smooth performance through the whole range. Very little change in the gap. Sorry, I know the camera's crappy. You don't have to tell me. There they closed up just a little bit. That was at speed step nine. And that's really it. If you uh, 
you might go back to um, the only other adjustment that's really required is uh, to go in uh, if you're not just thrilled with the uh, overall performance you can make sure that CV53 is set to a value of 120 and that'll smooth things out just a little bit more and then uh, in that CV53 just uh, try and keep the range somewhere between uh, 90 and 140 150 um, super smooth super quiet super easy uh, pretty good idea they will uh gives you a pretty good idea of uh how nicely that feature works and super simple so good luck with that have fun thanks for uh watching our uh, demonstration and please visit visit us at sbs4dcc.com for all your DCC needs.